The new patriotic party MPP says it will not participate in the National Economic Forum's later to begin tomorrow. At the news conference in Accra, the chairman, Mr. Paul Afoko, explained that the late invitation from government offers the party no opportunity to meaningfully participate in the forum. Mr. Afoko also stated that the party sees the forum as a platform to rubber stamp government stabilization policies already agreed with IMF and World Bank and thus defeats the purpose of the National Forum, which is expected to come up with reforms forms to correct the imbalances in the economy. The first ever National Economic Forum slated for Tuesday 13th May to Friday 16th May is expected to draw ideas to accelerate the country's transition from a lower middle income nation to an upper middle income economy which will guarantee improvements in the quality of life for all Ghanaians. It comes on the heels of proposals from the Vice President Mr. Kwesi Emi Sa'ata for a non-partisan debate to address the crisis in the economy. However, according to the MPP, the forum is intended to keep Ghanaians in the dark about the real state of the economy. Information available to us suggests that the NDC government has already adopted a set of reforms between 2014 and 2017 which includes the retrenchment of workers and has communicated same in its policy document to the IMF titled Economic and Financial Policies for the Medium Term. And this was dated the 14th of April, 2014. This document contains what the government describes as homegrown policies and was formally submitted to the IMF during the recent spring meetings in Washington, D.C. The question is, if the government has already adopted a set of policies and has already submitted to the IMF, what is the purpose of convening a national economic forum to deliberate on what to do? The party's chairman, Mr. Paul Afoko, also expressed the party's displeasure at the late invitation by the government. Last Friday afternoon, the MPP received an invitation from the seat of government to be part of a national economic forum that is scheduled to begin on the 12th of May 2014. The letter signed by the executive secretary to the president was dated the 2nd of May 2014. You will note that in spite of the short distance between the Jubilee House and the MPP party headquarters, it took more than a week for the letter to be hand delivered. This shows a lack of seriousness on the part of the government towards this very important national exercise. In principle, we in the new patriotic party are not against a national economic forum. However, in its present form, it offers us no opportunity to significant, significantly engage in the process. We believe that such an important forum should have been initiated collaboratively. Mr. Afoko said though the MPP has declined to participate in the National Economic Forum, it will continue to offer workable alternatives to the running of the economy in the interest of all Ghanaians.